Only on 7 News, check out these surveillance photos. A new gang of bank robbers, heavily armed, and the FBI telling us very dangerous. 7 News confirming they have hit nine times all the locations marked on this map. Seven robberies in Denver, two in Aurora. 7 News reporter Mark Stewart is live. And Mark, the FBI confirming what we've been tracking for weeks. Exactly, and including this bank, this credit union here in Aurora, it was robbed just last week. Here's what typically happens. One of the men waits here in a getaway car in the parking lot. The others then storm inside through the front door, order everyone to the ground, and it all happens very quickly. We are naming them as being armed and dangerous. And well disguised. From face masks to hats to hoodies, these serial bank robbers are well covered, their hands included. The FBI telling 7 News there is concern someone will get hurt. They're very brazen. Uh, the first robbery that occurred back in December of 2012, the individuals actually fired off a couple rounds in the bank lobby. This U.S. bank on South Broadway and this first bank on North Quebec are among the nine metro area institutions that have been hit. Investigators are now calling these men the trick or treat bandits. One of the individuals carries a large uh, bag around, looks like a pillowcase, as they're collecting money from the bank and putting it in this uh, bag. In all of these cases, there are at least two men involved, including a getaway driver. Bold bank robberies at a time when this type of crime was on the decline. It's not your guy who's down on his luck or has a bill to pay. It's usually individuals who have a criminal past. And tonight, the FBI telling me everything is on the table, including the possibility of a gang initiation. We are live in Aurora tonight. Mark Stewart, 7 News.